Hello guys, this is the second part of the video for NBSC mains 2013 uh, part 2. So, today I will portion complete guru which is for 74 marks for NBSC mains 2013. So, let's get the video started. So, I'll be starting from 2 marks uh, to 5 marks, 10 marks and 20 marks. So, the first question for 2 marks is Name the two ri name the two rivers that flows into the Jindwin. So the two rivers that flows into the Jindwin are uh the that flow into the Jindwin are Tizu, Zungi, Lanya, and Likimro. So these are the river system, uh, rivers that flow into the Jindwin system. So we already know that there are three river system in Nagaland. So the first river system is the Brahma Water River system, which flows in the uh, is uh, western part of Nagaland and the Barak river system which flows to the south of the river system that is around Manipur and the third river system is the Jindwin river system which flows on the eastern part of Nagaland so the rivers that flow into the eastern part of Nagaland are Zungi, Likimro, Lanya and the last and the last is Tizu. So these are the two. This uh, these are the four rivers that flows into the Jinwen River system. So you can write uh, out of this too. So mention the distribution of northern tropical wet evergreen forest in Nagaland. So Nagaland has six type of river of uh, six type of mountain system. Uh, no forest system in Nagaland, and the most um, and the first is the northwestern uh, ever northwestern tropical ever evergreen forest so the non tropical wet evergreen forest is located on the mon near the mon district of nagaland on the eastern part of india on the, yes on the eastern part of india and this and this is found only in mon district that that is the eastern part of nagaland and this forest was once found in namsa tizit area but now only a small vestige is located in Zangam area and the dominant species in this mountain range is Holong, Makai and Nohor. So next, who founded the first world school for our woman in Nagaland in which year? So Mary Mead Clark, the wife of Dr. E. W. Clark was the founder of the first girl, first school for women in 1878. So Mary Mead Clark founded the free school for first school for women our woman in 1878 what is chabili so chabili is a form of currency which was six to seven inch strips of iron and it was used as a currency in our regions of nagaland so if you write this we will be able to score two marks next the forest tokoyimong is the, is the festival of which tribe and when it was celebrated so the festival of tokoyimong is uh, is attributed to the Lotha tribe and it is done to in, in order to carve unity and it is usually celebrated in the first week of November that is from November 1 to uh, 5 so this so the festival of Toku Imong is celebrated in the first week of November next what is Morong so in the last video also we have explained that our Morong is a, of our home origin and it, and it means dormitory for young people in traditional Naga society and boys after reaching certain age enter the Morong and this Morong is known by different names in different uh, tribes so the the uh, Aos call it Ariju the Lothas call it Chambo the Angamis call it Kichuki and the Konyaks call it Ban and the Semas also call it Apuki Apuki, A P U K I Apuki. So these are some of the iterations of uh, Morong in different tribes. Next, in Nerega, there is the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, which was given effect on 2005. So, what benefit is extended to the registered laborer in case of death or permanent disability at the work? So, if death or permanent disability to the work is a disability at work site is uh, occurs to the workman so an ex gratia payment then is shall be made to the to his legal here as per the provision of the workman compensation act so a legal com uh, ex gratia payment sh should be made paid to the uh, worker and 
Workers are employed on public works will be entitled to medical treatment in case of in in injury or work. Next. What is the basic objectives of the Andhra, in Indira Awas Yojana? So the Indira Awas Yojana is a flagship social welfare flagship program and it is used to provide housing to rural poor in India and it was launched in 1985 by Rajiv Gandhi as one of the programs of rural development for to construct homes in PPL population in villages. So the Indira Awas Yojana has been reiterated as Pradhan Mandri Awas Yojana which was launched by Prime Minister Modi to provide housing to all rural and urban people to poor. Next, what advantage is extended to the hereditary village chiefs Gomboras Angs in village council? So, uh, by the provision of the village council act that, uh, that the village chiefs Angs etc. shall be ex official members and have voting rights. So, but, uh, it, but according to the village council Act the hereditary chiefs village angs cannot be the chief, cannot be the chairman of the council. Next, what role is played by the deputy commissioner in the state administration? So the deputy commissioner is plays a vital role in district administration, and he is of the care of IS or NCS, and he is responsible for law and order, planning and development, uh, scheduled areas, agency areas, and general election. And arms licensing extra and he's also a quasi judicial authority that is he has some judicial powers in matters of customary laws of nagas wherever required so for two marks if you read this four options then we can four um, parts then we can write we can expect at least two marks what is the maximum number of members maximum and minimum number of members in the management committee of village development board so in a village development board the maximum is 25 and the minimum is 5 and the tenure for each member is 3 years and the woman should not exceed 1 by 4 of the total members of the committee of village development board next point out the factors causing school students dropout so in Nagaland the school students dropout is due to academic failure financial difficulties mental illness like <coughs> un unable to understand uh, what the teacher is saying so uh, drug use and addiction and pregnancy and disability so those are some of the factors which which can be uh, which are attributable to school students dropping out so from this we can write four points that is academic failure drug use disabilities and financial difficulties so from the above um, six we can write at least four or you can write at least four next for five marks discuss and the causes and control of hiv aids in Ireland. so we sh so for five marks we need to give a little bit introduction about AIDS. so AIDS came to Nagaland in the year 1990 and it has been since 31 years since it has emerged as a major health and social emerging emergen social emergency in Nagaland. and uh, what are the causes so the causes of Causing HIV AIDS, as we can write sim in simple terms, there is blood transfusion uh, containing infected uh, um, transfusion infected blood, unprotected sex, that not using protectives and prenatal care. Prenatal means the infected mother is feeding the child with, uh, in which the uh, the virus is contained in the breast milk. And next is sharing of contaminated syringes and needles for drug use. So some data is that the according to the National uh, Nagaland AIDS Control Society, Nagaland ranks sixth highest HIV prevalent, and it it contributes to zero point eight eight percent of the total um, HIV AIDS population in the country, and with Dimapur has the highest prevalent rate of HIV AIDS, and the control of AIDS is getting ourselves tested and changing lifestyle prevention of STD by using protectives and abstinence from drugs so these are some of the um, methods to control HIV AIDS next what elucidate the merits and demerits of germ gall division so we know that germ gall division is a slash and burn gall division in which in which uh, crops are burned in which uh, in which vegetation is burned and crops are grown in the field and after a crop is gone it is it is burned again and weighted and and the land is led uh, 
and the uh, the land is let fallow for five to six years and after that the same cycle repeats on the same patch of land so this is zoom cultivation so what are the merits so it provides straightforward method straightforward and high speed method that is of preparation of land for ag agriculture no machinery is required just plain uh, using a sickle uh, using a um, using various tools we we can um, start the germ cultivation next is waste material is burnt uh, and crops are grown and organic farming there is no use of pesticides and fertilizers and it is and after the land is land fallow it is allowed to regenerate using forest natural cycle of regeneration and and it is very useful for sustaining a farmer for his own consumption that is substance in farming that is uh, for own consumption however do you, be, because the land is land fellow so it causes huge amount of problems such as destruction of forest and it causes heavy soil erosion because when in a hilly state like Nagaland when the land is held fellow and there is no trees then when the rain falls the rain will, will carry away the soil causing soil erosion and large-scale deforestation causing global warming and it is very uneconomical that is per capita uh, um, the the produce the products that is obtained from this method is very uneconomical and it causes loss of biodiversity like destruction of forest and it upsets the ecological balance as it disrupts many ecosystems and there's no initiative for soil erosion because the land is land is let fallow and there is and there is nothing to hold the soil so it will easily uh, it will easily cause soil erosion and there is no improvement of soil so so from the following figures we can see that this is a type of soil germ cultivation and this and this happens when a land is land fellow the so the soil is let fellow and when there is rainfall the rain will easily cast away the soil and it will easily cause soil erosion and destruction of flora and fauna so the disadvantage of forest causes due to germ cultivation next enumerate the objectives of the nagaland communitization act 2002 so so to explain the Naga, nagaland communitization act we need to use a simple example we need we need to use a simple diagram this so the nagaland communitization of public institution and services act was passed in 2002 and it is a joint partnership between the government and the community to deliver public services like health education and electricity water supply etc so um, it allows for partnership between the use, uh, use uh, between the state and the community that is this that is the government government will transfer some of its powers to the community to to complete uh, to deliver services so it it is a joint effort and it was started in 2002 and um, mr rs pande was the was the uh, brain child be uh, brain child behind this project so the nagaland communitization project uh, so in 2001 the history is that in 2001 the government of nagaland launched an innovative program known as imagine nagaland which involves members of both civil society that is the people as well as the civil services that is the go government coming together collectively as equal partners in process of change and this was to reorient and re-energize its own employees to spearhead the program that includes citizens and local communities as equal partners in control and and management of public institutions so what is communitization it is a unique partnership between the government agencies and communities to allow transfer of ownership of public resources and assets control over control over various uh, institutions such as uh, the village uh, village 
electricity, school system, uh, sc school education, etc. And uh, with the objective of improving the delivery system of public utility services, and it is based on three Ts. The communitization is based on three Ts. That is trusting the community. That is trusting the government. Trust in the people that they will deliver the services. Train them, training the people so that they will be able to serve the people. The, uh, they will be able to execute their problem, their duties and responsibilities, and transfer of power. That is transferring of government resources to the people. Next, elucidate on the activities of the woman development department so the woman development the director of woman development is under the social welfare under the department of social welfare and it is used and it was established to balance the gender divide by uplifting the woman and facilitating self-dependency while safeguarding women's rights and privileges it also partners with NGOs to promote more and more deliberate involvement of women in development and it is used to strengthen women centered self-help groups so the activities of the woman development, uh, director of woman development is number one, transformative livelihood intervention that is providing life, providing job opportunities to women, integrated development and resource center that is, that is providing various services to the woman as well as child development. Next. So this is for five marks. So the next question is for 10 marks. Discuss the implementation and outcome of the Nagaland environment protection and economic development project so a brief introduction about the NEPD that is the Nagaland economic environment protection and, and economic development project so it was introduced in the year 1995 to increase agriculture production to provide alternative technology to traditional system of agriculture increase forest cover and provide sustainable livelihood to Naga people and the history of the of the NEPD is that first the Nagas were traditionally an agrarian society we depended on agriculture that is jhum cultivation and shifting and and terrace cultivation the age old practice of jhum cultivation on Nagas had come under serious threat and criticism from environmentalists and central government so jhum was responsible for as mentioned above degradation of environmental resources and decrease in forest cover so the main objective was to make germ cultivation more successful so this do improve this am gokle conceive an idea of planting a tree component on agroforestry to germ fill so as to achieve an enrich fellow management strategy and thus elder trees are planted in germ cultivations to to provide for nitrogen fixing to for provide for nitrogen fixing that is fixing the soil with nitrogen having the capacity to augment soil fertility and regenerative capacity of zoom fields so the so the NEPT was launched as Nagaland Environment Protection and Economic Development in initial phase but since 2001 it was renamed as Nagaland Empowerment of People through Economic Development and the objectives of this was environment protection uh, ensure rural development and eradication of poverty and, imp and improve standard of living quality of life of rural people so what was the outcome of NABD that is it allowed it addressed gender issues that is out of 123 villages 213 women were given training to, on women empowerment that is empowering a woman um, out of the next is out of the state program out of the state program was initiated to give exposure to Nagar women that is um, allowing the uh, allowing the local people to visit various places to know what kind of methods are applied so as to give them an idea next is NEPD allows women participation in joint forest management that is of joint forest management was encouraged and as a result of using these innovative products uh, innovative methods the zoom productivity increased significantly and a farmer realized five-fold increase in womb and food and crop productivity and reduced the zoom cycle period from 10 to 12 years to five years and it also promoted the green village model of konama to other villages and under and under NEPD an outlay of 12.86 crore uh, farmer test plots numbering 1794 in 854 villages were observed and there was significant increase in forest cover Next, we come to 20 marks. Elicit the impact of communitization and electricity management in Nagaland. So, as I mentioned above, that 
Communitization was a joint initiative between the government and the people to deliver various public services. So, in various public services, first, in this question, it is given for electricity management. So, we have to give a brief background of what Nagaland was going through before the implementation of this uh, scheme. So, first is that Nagaland was was witnessing staggering 58% distribution losses and there were errors in revenue collection from 3 crore in 1995 to 5 crore in 2000. So, this shows that there was revenue losses and people will not bank taxes or were not paying uh, for the services that as a result of this the as a result of this the context of poor administration in rural areas record a complete change in policies pursued by the department of power so as so since Nagaland was a signatory to the accelerated power development and reform programs of the government of India, Nagaland had already sig signaled its intention to reform, reform its delivery and financial management of power supply. So, through decentralization, the government had decided to bring efficiency in revenue administration. So, the objectives of communitization was reduction, uh, the distribution losses, and village authority to work with power department for for collection of revenue and to move towards privatization of of uh, of power sector and village community will be acting as watchdog against theft electricity theft. so the it, as per the village as per the um, Nagaland communitization for electricity the, the village electricity management board was established in which there there were five to nine members including the chairman of the board and chairman of the board was elected by the members and it also provides for a secretary and each representative from each kill and the term was three years for every as is it is same for every um every uh, village development board and no power department staff was included as its member and the function was to monitor availability of power in the village and coordinate in clearing of or extension of power by filling trees and ensure safe custody of all electric equipment and prevent theft, recovery of losses and action against power thieves and the maintaining details details of power availability, preparing bills, collection revenue, audit accounts and place before the village council. So what was the effect or the impact of communitization was that it ensured local participation and a sense of ownership. So in better delivery of public services it provides opportunity at grassroots level to implement various community delivery system and the members the members of the villages now have their question of how public services were delivered to them and it allowed for transparency and various uh, schemes was utilized efficiently and it led to improvement of services the main disadvantage was that only in major district it was successful it was not successful in uh, remote districts and the ability of a village to generate its own resources was affected because most of the villages were deficient and deficient in planning there was no like experience sharing and vision and there was no coordination and they failed to integrate the traditional system with modern system so this will be the answer i think so we, we have, so if we read introduction and a brief concept about this with the advantages and disadvantages this is sure to complete for 20 marks next discuss the tourist potentialities in Nagaland so tourism in Nagaland was a late starter for was a late starter and it was started only in 1981 because the Nagaland was war torn with insurgency problems so the department of Depart development of tourism was started only in 1981 and it and it was carved out of the Department of Information and Public Relations of the Government of Nagaland. Tourism was a flourishing service sector industry across the world. In, in India as well, tourism was a major source of revenue because it accounted for around it around 10% of the country's GDP came from tourism. So the pub, pub, some states appear on the tourism like Jawa, Jammu Kashmir Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, Karnataka, etc. Nagaland has an added advantage of being a tourist place because of, because it shares international because it shares international boundary with uh, Myanmar and 
also because of many factors such as um, uh, Hornbill festivals and various <coughs> hill stations like Zugu Valley. So uh, it has an added advantage of attracting a large chunk of international tourists due to a mixture of positive factors. The state government can take advantage of the favorable condition condition so as to transfer power to, so, so as to transform tourism sector into the viable economic sector it was a major source of income and livelihood for people so nagaland geographical location is that it was look it is it, is that it is a 16th state of india and was born as a full-fledged state of india on 1st of december 1960 following the passage of the 13th amendment bill and Due to its hilly and mountainous region, it provides a good position for and, and a good location for valleys and scenic beauty. So, the European tourists, whoever came, tested and admired the beauty by the and serenity of landscape, and and it is an ideal destination for for, for sightseeing and an adventure during holiday season. To this unique natural beauty was at, uh, are added the colorful and rich culture and ethnic spectrum offering unique opportunities for touring tourism industry to grow like the hornbill festival the various uh, the various hill station like dugu valley and and the scenic and beauty of the nagas of the of nagaland can help the tourism industry to grow so which is the part two of nagaland means 2013 is finished 2013 and paper analysis is finished i hope you like the video so have a great day